It's math time. Let's warm up. Count by tens, get ready, go. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Now by yourself. Ready, go. Nice job. Count by fives, get ready, go. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100. Now you try by yourself. Ready, go. Count by twos. Let's do this one together. Remember, we start with the number two, then we hop two spaces. So that means we skip over one number to get to the next one we say. Four. Start back at two and count by twos with me. Ready, go. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30. Nines and tens. Nine, 10, 19, 20, 29, 30, 39, 40, 49, 50, 59, 60, 69, 70, 79, 80, 89, 90, 99, 100. Double time, get ready, go. One plus one equals two. Two plus two equals four. Three plus three equals six. Four plus four equals eight. Five plus five equals 10. Six plus six equals 12. Seven plus seven equals 14. Eight plus eight equals 16. Nine plus nine equals 18. 10 plus 10 equals 20. Make 10. We know we can add numbers in any order. Let's say the friends of 10 and then both ways we can add them. 10 and zero make 10. Add them both ways, 10 plus zero, zero plus 10. One and nine make 10. Add them both ways, one plus nine, nine plus one. Two and eight make 10. Add them both ways, two plus eight, eight plus two. Three and seven make 10. Add them both ways, three plus seven, seven plus three. Four and six make 10. Add them both ways, four plus six, six plus four. Five and five make 10. Add it one way, five plus five equals 10. Happy Friday, Kipsters. I'm so excited because today we're going to practice all of the strategies we learned this week. We learned a bunch of strategies. Let's review them. Add with part, part, whole. Draw a picture to add. Add with friends of 10. Adding with doubles. Add doubles plus one. Add commutative rule. These are all great strategies to use to solve addition problems quickly. Add with part, part, whole helps us create a number bond to keep track of the parts and the whole in our addition equations. For addition, we know that Gus the plus puts parts together. So the numbers around Gus the plus are the numbers that are our parts. Let's practice with a couple of examples. Three plus one equals four. What are the parts? Three and one. How do we know? Because Gus the plus puts parts together. So that means four is the whole. 5 plus 2 equals 7. What are the parts? 5 and 2. How do we know? Because Gus the plus puts parts together. So 7 is the whole. 16 equals 7 plus 9. What are our parts? 7 and 9. How do we know? Because Gus the plus puts parts together. We can use our 10 facts to solve equations quickly. 6 plus 4 equals blank. I know that six and four is a 10 fact. Six and four makes 10, so six plus four equals 10. That was so fast. We also know our doubles facts in a snap. Six plus six equals blank. 
I'm going to use my rule adding with doubles because I see the same number two times. Six plus six is a double and I know six plus six equals 12. I did not have to draw circles because I knew my doubles facts. When we see numbers that are different by one, that means that they're next to each other on the number line. We can use add doubles plus one. Four plus five equals blank. This is a great time to use add doubles plus one because four and five are only one apart on the number line. We start with the smaller number, four, and then break down the bigger number, five, into the double plus one. So now it's four plus four plus one. First, add the doubles, four plus four, that equals eight. Add one more, bring down that one, now it says eight plus one. How many all together? Eight plus one is nine. So four plus five equals nine. If I see two parts that aren't friends of 10, they aren't doubles, and they're not doubles plus one, they're not next to each other on the number line, or if I'm just having trouble and wanna check my work, I can use my strategy, draw a picture to add. Five plus three equals blank. I can draw a picture to add. Five and three are not next to each other on the number line. Five and three do not make 10, and it's not a double. These are different numbers. So I'm going to draw a picture to add. Draw how many I start with, that's five. Draw how many more are added, that's three. How many all together? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The answer is eight. Now I need your help. Tell me which strategy I should use. Seven plus six equals blank. Which strategy should I use? That's right, doubles plus one. How did you know we could use that strategy? Because seven and six are next to each other on the number line. But we have to start with the smaller number. So what strategy can we use now? The commutative rule. We can switch these parts. How should I write my sentence now? Six plus seven equals blank. Instead of saying seven plus six, we switched the parts to say six plus seven. Now I can use doubles plus one. Six plus six plus one, because we know seven is six plus one. Then double it up, six plus six is 12. Add one more, bring down that one. How many all together? 12 plus one is 13. So seven plus six equals 13. Which strategy can we use for this equation? Three plus seven equals blank. That's right, three and seven make 10. So we can use add with friends of 10. Three plus seven equals 10. We know that in a snap. Four plus four equals blank. Which strategy can we use to solve this one? That's right, adding with doubles. Because we're adding the same number two times. Four plus four equals eight. Nice job. Thanks for helping me figure out which strategies to use. You can use all of these strategies and you can draw a picture to add when you're working on your exit ticket. Have a great weekend, Kipsters.